We know sports are a big deal in our area, especially at schools, and that got us wondering what policies are in place for emergencies involving young athletes. Our John Henry is covering this for us tonight from the newsroom. Hey, John. Hey, Lorenzo. We know emergency crews used an automated external defibrillator to keep DeMar Hamlin alive in Cincinnati. Those devices deliver electric shocks to revert a person's arrhythmic heart back to normal. In our region, many AEDs can be found just yards away from young, where younger student athletes compete. All three jurisdictions have different laws regarding their use, but in many of those places, they've already been credited with helping to save a life. DC District Code says every school must have one AED on site. All athletic coaches, trainers, and directors must be trained how to use them too. In Maryland, not only is every public middle and high school required to have an AED, but they're required to be present at every school-sponsored athletic event as well. Virginia's a bit different. There's no law in the books requiring AEDs to be present in all Commonwealth schools, but all campuses are expected to have people and staff who know how to use the device. Law or no law, many school districts there require them to be present anyway. Fairfax County Schools have at least one AED directly adjacent to all their gyms. The devices have already helped save local lives in our region too. Just last May, school administrators recognized a Loudoun County athletic trainer who brought an AED to a varsity baseball game. They said Ed Renahan ultimately used it to save the life of a fan in cardiac arrest. Stories like those are why Virginia State Senator and Firefighter EMT Jeremy McPike fought to make it a law that every health club in Virginia have AEDs too. Back when he was 14, he noticed a man near his team's baseball practice collapse. I ran off from baseball practice and he had stopped breathing. And so I started CPR. My mom was actually a volunteer uh, paramedic in Prince William County. And so she taught me CPR very early as a kid. And so I started CPR. Uh, unfortunately, he didn't make it. Uh, but I learned very early as a 14-year-old the importance of having an AED. If you want to know your school system's rules and AEDs, you can head to our website, WUSA9.com. Guys? Yeah, it is clear every second counts in an emergency, and when those AEDs are there, they at least give a shot at recovery mm -hmm. and life.